Hey y'all, I'm Shayna and I'm back with another review. This is for Love and Marriage Huntsville Season 6 Episode 10, Unpaid in Fool. <laughs> Let's get into it because the name alone like mm, sounds like it might be a good episode, okay? So before we do, um, if Misha brought you over here because y'all done showed up and showed out. Hey y'all, hey. <laughs> now I gotta get ready for church, so I won't really got much time to waste if you're new here or if you're not. Either way, if you enjoyed the video and you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. Check out my other content. Like, you're gonna love it here. I'm thinking maybe we should do a live because y'all coming in, okay? And I appreciate it. Love to have you. Like, we a community on this side, okay? So. Let's pick up where we left off. And that was with Tiffany not feeling good last week. We know, you know, she wasn't feeling well from getting the mess started, okay? She didn't got the ish started and, and, and she was feeling underwhelmed or overwhelmed. <laughs> so Tiffany says she's seeing SARS. And Stormy was like, let me go grab a nurse. So she go grab Kimmy. And Kimmy was like, I, don't, I can't check her pressure. I don't got all my stuff with me. She needs to have a pressure check. Stormy offered to call an ambulance, and Tiffany was like, no. And Kimmy just can't quite understand why. She don't want that expensive bill. That's why. Child, an ambulance called one time. That bill was so high. Now, I would catch an Uber before I, <laughs> I ever get in the ambulance again. So, Big Lou puts her on this truck, and they speed to the hospital. In all seriousness, I'm glad that Tiffany and Baby Ace are okay. So we see the Scots 1.0 and they got a big business move happening with Skull. They breaking down, breaking ground on something. But will they ever break ground on Scott Manor? And the short answer is no. Um, Tisha gives props to Maurice's new partner, Gino. And we did like the advice Gino was given last time. And she probably liking Gino because Gino said, don't keep Tisha out in the dark. <laughs> Put her in the business. But Tisha, did you ever get an office? Or are you still over there working out of Starbucks? So Tisha, uh, she was like, in her confessional or their confessional, she was telling Marcel she loves when he's being supportive. We haven't seen him support you in six seasons, Tisha. Support what? He's going to say, I'm here to help, Ike. You know, Marcel need to be over there and um, over there in Louisiana, Louisiana in Mississippi <laughs> with Cliff and Glenn. That's where he need to be, over there in Bell Collective. So Melanie meets up with her attorney because she wants to change her last name back to her maiden name, Rogers. And I don't blame her. And I don't know why she didn't do it sooner. <laughs> I, I, I mean, I know some people like to keep the same last name with kids and all that, but with an ex like Martel... Mm -mm. So her lawyer basically told her she'll have to wait until the, cu the custody case is over with Martel before she can make a name change. Don't let Martel hear it. He gonna drag this case on until the very last child turns 18. Uh, Mel said that the judge asked for information that wasn't necessary, like passwords to her social media and who she's dating romantically. It sounds like y'all need a new judge. Because what? <laughs> so we see Martel having his own meeting. He meeting with a designer. He's trying to design some suits. That's good because, you know, he like to wear suits. But I feel like he should just go ahead and be a personal trainer and move on with his life. So Miguel, the uh, designer, he wants to work on Marcel. But he tells him, like, look, you need about 100K. Where are he going to get that from? He just said he's a single father of five. So we see Tiffany. She laying in bed. She says she's okay. She's resting. Um, Tiffany wants to go to a speaking engagement in D.C. And Big Lou upset because he like, look, seeing you that way, it really like bothered me. Like it just really upset me. You need to relax. Um, seeing all, seeing you in pain at the baby shower just did something to me. And, you know, he really loves his wife. And that was super sweet. But Tiffany don't care. She gonna go. <laughs> so Big Lou said, look, the Lord was trying to get your attention so you can sit down somewhere. And again, she don't care. She's going to go to this event. <laughs> so they move on to the meeting with the men at the baby shower. And he felt like Marcel ain't have nothing to do with it. Like, well, you ain't have nothing to do with this. Mind your business. Uh, Marcel put Marcel in it. Okay, Marcel didn't just jump in. He didn't just come in it. Maurice did. But Marcel was incorporated in both times. First time, y'all was at Black. Second time... 
Martel was going outside and he said, oh, come on, Marcel. So, yeah. Big Lou asked Tiffany. She was like, because Tiffany talk, started talking about blended families again. What that had to do. But anyway, if y'all new here, I do got an Instagram page. It's called Black Blended Families underscore. I just shout out, you know, Black Blended Families because I love to see it. Okay. Shameless plug. Back to this, <laughs> she he like, when did she ever ask you for co-parenting advice? She like, she didn't. When did she ever ask you for blended family advice? Never, ever. And she never will. Ever. Y'all ain't even friends. So um, he basically telling her in a nice, nasty way to mind her business. <laughs> and he was like, and stop putting me in BS. And she's like, oh, I'm putting you in ish? Yes, Karen, you are. You absolutely did. And you didn't tell him all the facts. If you would mind your own business, then he wouldn't have to be putting out fires. So, but I mean, not too much on Tiffany, I guess, because what else would we be talking about this season? Absolutely nothing. So the comeback group, AKA the core six, unnecessarily meet again. Scott's 1.0 told y'all they wasn't paying y'all last time. What we talking about? Well, why are we meeting again? But before everyone arrives, associates and co-workers who pretend on camera like they're friends Kimmy and Mel sit down and have a chat <laughs> so Kimmy basically feels like they should still use the comeback group because no one wanted to dissolve y'all need to let it go I think you need to let it go let it go please let it go I don't even know what the comeback group was supposed to be doing anymore <laughs> like I don't even care so Kimmy asked Melody about her potential new boo and Mel said mind your business and Kimmy was like, but it's all our business because you put a picture of a man's arm out there. And Melody was like, I'm not telling you, mind your business. And that was the end of that. <laughs> so the others arrived and Tisha, Tisha said, uh, I don't even think she sat down good. She was still, you know, easing into her chair. And she was like, we're not paying y'all. Okay. <laughs> all right. Well, meeting's over. This could have been an email. This could have been a text. So Tisha wants to raise money to put back into the community and she wants everybody else to work for free. Kimmy has her binder and she comes with the comeback group facts. Uh, we in a recession, honey. Ain't nobody working for free. I mean, you better split it up a little bit, divvy it out, pay a little here, give back some of there. I mean, <laughs> we, we, we can't be working for free. So no one agrees with the Scots 1.0. They don't like their plans. And Mel said, y'all weren't even thinking about sponsorships until I brought it up last time. Now, you want to try to dictate and tell me how y'all going to do it. Y'all want to tell us, well, okay, well, fine, we're going to get sponsors, but this is how we're going to do it. This is what we're going to do with the money. Um, Y'all want to take the money for yourselves, but okay. <laughs> so, uh, allegedly. <laughs> so, the entire Black Expo seems like plagiarism, if you ask me. And if you ask everybody else, because that's what they about to tell them. So Marcel calls the group greedy for wanting to get paid. I, I, I am flabbergasted, excuse me. <laughs> for me wanting to get paid for something you asking me to do. Today's price ain't yesterday's price. Cause what I would've did before, I'm not, I'm not doing that on today, <laughs> okay? So Mel said, um, they, she's like, I mean, it's the audacity for me. Y'all ain't never sponsored my event. I had um, uh, mimosas with Melody and nobody sponsored my events. And Tisha was like, well, I tried to support your skincare line and I got escorted out. And Melody gonna say, I'm talking about sponsorships, not coming to support. I ain't sponsoring nothing. If you kicking me out of events, if I try to come to your event, you kick me out. I'm not gonna turn around and sponsor a damn thing. Okay, <laughs> let's be clear. So, Kimmy said, look, <laughs> she just call it out. She's like, call it what it is. Y'all took the comeback group and slapped a new name on it, and said it's under new management. Period. <laughs> Maurice was like, yeah, y'all recycling our idea. That was our idea. That's true. Let's call a thing a thing. And the Scots 1.0 getting all defensive. Y'all literally took the same exact idea, word for word, bar for bar, and they called it the Black Expo. No, thank you. <laughs> and they want us to do it free. It's a no. <laughs> it's a definite no. But I don't know. It seems like they're going to be getting the, you know, tongue tussling and arguing next week again. So y'all let me know what y'all thought about this episode. Do you think Love and Marriage Huntsville is running its course? 
Let's have a live. Let's chat. Let's talk about it. Let me know if y'all want to do the live in the comments. I will see y'all in the next one. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe now. Like it, comment, share, tell a friend to tell a friend, and all that good stuff. I will see y'all later. Bye.